There were so many moments this season that seemed to have massive repercussions on the beach, but there was one thing that changed the course of paradise forever. And yes, I'm talking about the split week. Hey, whoa, whoa, don't shoot me. I'm just the messenger and I'll <laughs> No, but seriously, the ripple effects of that week, they really truly were felt all the way until the final day on the beach. Um, Shanae, obviously, it was a very emotional day for all of the women there. Why do you think it had such a big impact? I think it had such a big impact because it was so unexpected. There were some conversations that haven't ha happened that needed to be had, and then you see, you know, new faces come on the beach, like, well, what do we do from here? You had explored other relationships earlier on, and you would do it again during the split week with Tyler, but it, it did kind of seem like you resented Logan for his desire to want to do that too. How come? I believe Logan didn't generally want to really pursue other women, maybe a little bit, but I think he, out of spite, he did it to get back at me from the whole James date. What you guys didn't see, um, what was it, I don't know, first or second rose um, ceremony, you remind me to keep my options open during the rose ceremony. And I was like, well, that's weird. Like, it's what well, we just told everyone in the room how confident and secure we were, but then you're gonna, hey, Shanae, let's keep our options open. So I did. No, yeah, I'd love to respond to that. Um, I'm really glad you brought it up. It's possible to be happy and confident and like really care about someone and also say, I want you to know that I'm not going to chain you down and be controlling of you. Those two things are possible and that's what I wanted to communicate and it obviously didn't get through. Okay, so to be clear, you didn't pursue Kate because she had gone on a date with James. No, I mean, if everyone watched, they saw, I was afraid to say yes. I talked to my friends on the couch and I said, guys, I don't know if I want to do this. I care about Shanae and I'm like, I'm not sure what she would do. They said, you know what? I don't think Shanae would hesitate and she definitely didn't. So I'm glad I made the choices I did. I'm glad I have good friends to fall back on. And uh, obviously my attempt to um, be understanding fell short. Does that change your mind at all, hearing his explanation? No, I don't, <laughs> no. That's not surprising. No. Kate, obviously you had a big part in this too because you seemed unfazed to pursue Logan, even though you knew that he was dating Shanae at the time. How come? Um, I think Logan and I were both pretty unfazed. We both were pursuing each other. I don't believe that it was one-sided at all. We felt something between us that was an almost tangible connection, and I think we both wanted to explore that right away. Well, once the death settled with Shanae, you were able to pursue your relationship, of course, with Logan, Kate, but then it wasn't very long after that that you started voicing some concerns about him. What, what were they exactly? Um, I want to touch on those concerns um, just directly to you, Logan. The way that those concerns came across, that was so out of pocket, and I hate that you had to hear that. When I was vocalizing those concerns, it was to my girlfriends in private, something that I never, ever wanted you to hear, because, like, <laughs> I'm see, I'm for There's real. Kind of cameras everywhere. We're wearing mics. Yeah, yeah okay, uh... certainly. But I'm not saying them like directly to you because it's not even about like the car you drive or what gym you go to. Those were just like things that were symbolic of something deeper that I was feeling, which was that you weren't ready for the type of serious partnership that I'm looking for. Um, you know what? Four years ago, I moved to California with nothing but my car. I wanted to have a career in film. And for a while, I was a, a scuba instructor. I walked dogs to get by. I, uh, I did whatever I could for a whole year. And I ended up building an amazing career using a camera. And I'm so proud of that. And it's something that took a long time. And uh, I tell that to Kate. And uh, she made fun of me for it. She tried to humiliate me for it in front of her friends, you know, and everyone cackles. Yeah, it, it showed a lot. I wish you did say it to me. It would have cleared a lot of things up and I would have been able to explore other things and it would have really showed who you were, I think. And so, uh, thank you. All right, well, we're sorry it didn't work out between Kate and Logan, obviously.